is Mona here at Craft Clutch and today is Friday. That means it is another Coaster Friday. Today we are going to be making reindeer coasters. I have two ounces of resin mixed and I am going to add just a little bit of this copper pigment powder. We don't need a lot. I'm just going to add that in there just to kind of give it a base and it tints it without overwhelming it. Now I'm going to use a copper glitter and I'm using fine glitter and I want to put a bunch in there and I'm going to mix that up and I'm going two ounces. You could go three ounces if you wanted to. That'd be fine if you wanted something a little bit thicker. I think two will be thick enough and you can also use a chunky glitter, a brown glitter. You can make them an off-colored reindeer if you wanted to. Then I'm going to pour that right into the mold. Now I'm going to take my lighter, pop the bubbles, and I will let this cure a minimum of 12 hours. And then we will come back and keep moving on with our reindeer. This is cured. Now we get to paint. I'm just using acrylic paints. And it might take a couple of coats, but I'm going to make a couple of rounds for the eyes. I'm going to use this golden brown as the snout. And all that is is an oval. I'm taking the end of a doll rod. I'm just going to make a cute little nose right there. I've taken the coaster out of the mold and I have mixed some more resin. And I'm just going to put some right over the top so that it protects what we painted. And I'll help it get to the edges. Then we're going to take our lighter, pop the bubbles, and we're going to let this sit a minimum of 12 hours before we move on to the next step. The reindeer face has cured and now we just need to finish them off. And to do that we are going to drill a couple of holes. Now I have this drill bit and normally I would want to go even smaller than this. However, I can't find my attachment for it so this is the size we're going. If you happen to have brown or beige pipe cleaners on hand, then you're good. Otherwise, you're going to have to go buy a package of it. And we're going to use this for the antlers. And you want to cut them even a little bit longer than you need right now. But you want to be able to make sure that they sit in here comfortably. We can finish cutting them to size later. But you want to get a little length going and then you want to take a couple shorter pieces and you want to add it to your horns and all you're doing is overlapping it and kind of crimping it together here again we can always shorten and adjust these as we need okay so I think I'm going to shorten it at the bottom so it goes in further and I will do the same on this one once you get it trimmed up as you wish, all we have to do is add some glue. I'm going to put it right on in here. And this dries clear. Okay, and then we'll pop it in. And we'll let that dry. We're almost done. We need some ears. So I have some felt and I'm just going to cut a couple of ears. And once you have the ears cut, you can glue those into place as well and this is just felt it's a nice thick felt i'm going to run just a little bit on the edge down here now with sprinkling a little glitter on there i've covered up any potential glue that might be showing and i can do that on the back as well and now we have our reindeer coaster there's the front there's the back. He's cute as can be and ready to hold a cup of your cider or hot chocolate. So be sure to let me know what you think of him down in the comments below. Hope you guys like the reindeer coasters and I hope you give it a try. I hope you have the happiest of holidays and I will definitely see you next time. Remember, life is too short not to shimmer, so grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Bye guys!